Trenton 365 with Jacques Howard. Profiling the businesses, organizations, and people that make Trenton better. Hello, friend, and welcome to the Trenton 365 show. You can send me an email, Trenton, the numbers 365, show at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well at Trenton 365. You're listening over WIMG 1300, New Jersey's oldest radio station, and the four time Stellar Gospel Awards winning station as well. Our handle on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is WIMG 1300. You can also say that you're watching over WPHY channel. 25 covering Mercer County, New Jersey through Verizon Fios. You can also reach out to us and give a call over the station 609-695-1300. In the studio with me, I'm continuing with the series talking about our infrastructure and some of the basic needs and things that are being met and need to be met for all life here in this central New Jersey region. And we're going to continue the conversation about water, H2O, um, Trenton Water Works to an extent, but more importantly from uh, an independent private business. We've got Kel Trend Water Care here in the studio. We have two generations, the father and son. We've got Tom and Sean Barry. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So um, uh, I'm going to start by saying I've been been driving by your location on South Olden for right. years and I always see it and I'm like ah man what's going on with this place what's going on with this place and over the last 18 months two years there's, there's been so much conversation about the current status of the drinking water and the, the quality of the water here in Trenton I said you know what this is like almost like a sign I need to stop in right. there and I happened to do that and I had made a phone call talked to Sean and then you were out of town and I stopped in and Sean told me a bit about some of the things that are happening, a bit about what your company does. So I thought it was it would make sense for me to make sure that Keltrin had an opportunity as private citizens, a private business, to also share your professional expertise with my audience because again water is such a topic that's on someone else's so many people's minds at the moment so let's uh, first start about um, share who you are a little bio about the two of you and then why you got started in um, water all right will do uh, well again my name is Tom Barry um, I started the business well I actually didn't start the business my father started the business three generations <laughs> three generations and let me tell you my father would be so proud that Sean joined the business here just just a few months ago. So awesome. It is awesome. And um, so, again, I've been doing it for a long time, 35 years. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty much all I know is water. Um, so, uh, and again, as you said, you've driven by us. Um, it's kind of an invisible building. You, you don't know it's there until you say, hey, oh, that's a water company. Yes, <laughs> yep, exactly. So um, we're not a public water, you, you know, nothing to do with the Trenton Water Works, but we are a water conditioning company, wa meaning we have available water filtration products, everything from drinking water systems to whole house systems um, to treat whatever water problem comes along. Mm -hmm. Now, it's only recent, within the last months, years, that people in the city water situations are, it's coming to mind, it's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's prevalent now. Uh, for years and years from, from the beginning of the business, uh, the bulk of my customers have always been on private wells. Um, Ewing has a lot of private wells still, and you get on the outlying areas into Hopewell, Pennington, Bordentown, Chesterfield. They're, all, they're still on a lot of private wells, and that's still the bulk of our business, mm -hmm. but trust me, every day I field more and more uh, questions and calls from, you know, from people concerned about the water locally. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be never that I, you know, a, a customer from Trenton or Hamilton would get in touch with me. But unfortunately, it's a daily occurrence anymore. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that um, it had to be some negative news, so to speak, or information that has gotten people um, more aware of this. So we're going to get into that um, in a bit. Um, Sean, so you're the third member. Third this, generation. Th yeah, so Just starting out here, still getting my feet wet. All right, so so um, I know you've seen your grandfather, you've yeah. seen your father do this work. What stimulated you to want to be a part of it? Yeah, so I graduated from school uh, from Elon University a few, uh, few years ago, three, four years ago now. Uh, started working for a big old corporate corporation 
um, and realized a couple months back that maybe that wasn't going to be the best path for me going forward for the next 20, 30, 40 years of my life. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen how my dad's worked hard and how he's really mastered something and he loves something that he has done for the past 35 years of his life. And I said, maybe that's something I could I could get behind a little bit more than working for um, a massive billion dollar organization. And so I've uh, I come on I came on board uh, probably about three four months ago now and loving every minute of it, learning a lot and really going under my father's wing of really just trying to see how we can help people with their water because it is on people's mind and it's something you use every day whether or not you think about it where every time you turn on that shower faucet mm -hmm. you're using it and you want it to be safe whether or not you're thinking about it um so it's cool to kind of um have that ability to help people in that slight little manner um even if they don't think about it any every day uh to make sure that they're drinking and using safe water every day um so it's been a cool it's been a cool few months and i'm still learning and um, really having someone who is an expert in the field, who knows just about anything you can ask them about water, um, is pretty good to have have uh, watching over you at all times, I guess. You know, that's actually very heartwarming um, yeah, to hear yeah. that and, and to see that. Like, I mean, genuinely, it looks like your son likes you. He <laughs> likes being around you. Because, you know, there's a lot of situations where that doesn't happen. But he wants to not only, you know, be around you and learn from you, but he also wants to continue the generation, yeah. um, the generational work, and that's amazing. And to add on to that, I mean, it seemed like the perfect opportunity right now because water is on people's minds mm -hmm. and so when I was thinking of making a jump um, I knew that it's an industry that's going to keep growing over the next 10, 20, 30 years um, so it kind of seemed like a no brainer that I could get in an industry that's Gonna, that's going to be ripe for uh, growth in the next few years Absolutely. here, which is why we're talking and, and, here. Yep. And I'll tell you what, you know, you and I grew up probably not thinking about the water. I, I grew up over near Independence Mall, and, you know, we turned the faucet on. We didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we drank from hoses. We didn't think mm -hmm. about it, and, and you were probably the same way. But younger people, his generation, the people who are buying houses now who are, are, are coming up, they, they did not grow up drinking the water or mm -hmm. they, you know, it's more people are concerned about it nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I think the market is changing. Sure. Um, again, I've been in a long time and over the past few years, I see a lot of change happening. Gotcha. Now, uh, what's the best way for people to reach out to Caltrend Water Care? Go ahead. Yeah, so find us on our website, keltren.com, K-E-L-T-R-E-N.com, um, or give us a call on a, our office number, 609-888-0053. Okay, great. Now, let's let's take it back a little bit, right? So from a uh, uh, bird's eye view, um, everyone knows the importance of water. It's been on the subjects of a lot of people's and minds of a lot of people recently because of the news that has come out. Um, can you share from your perspective um, where you see the current water situation here in the region? Well, I'd love to see it get solved. Uh, I'd love to see um, people's fears and, and concerns alleviated, but I, I just, I don't know. Where my industry comes from, not just my company, uh, Again, being in this business for so long, I've never scared anything into anybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to start now. Mm -hmm. I think, for the most part, the water that any municipality is sending down the, the pipes is pretty darn safe. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, negate if someone is having a, a health concern or a problem with it. But where my industry comes in is that we're kind of the, the last line of defense. If someone is concerned about it, we have a product that can probably fix it, okay? And I, and I truly say that, unfortunately. You know, it will cost some money. Mm -hmm. You know, we're running a business. So, you know, but uh, it's, times have changed that people aren't as trusting as they used to be. And, mm -hmm. hey, if it's, if it's a concern, there is a fix. Mm -hmm. sure, and, and, sure. and to say that... Okay, maybe Trenton Water Works is at an acceptable level of all of their contaminants in the water, right? Mm -hmm. Just like any municipality in the country. They're probably at an acceptable level. 
But when you're talking about things like lead, what is an acceptable level? Is 0.1 an acceptable level? Do you want any lead in your water? Um, so that's where, really where we come into play, that if you are worried about it, if you have a newborn, if you have anything, and you really don't want anything in your water, hopefully we can help you at that point. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm glad you explained it that way because, uh, again, when we talk about the quality of the water, I think a lot of times people think, I want it to be crystal clear, pure, like the bottled water, but not realizing that even bottled water is going to have some level of something in it that is not cr completely mm -hmm. pure. So when we talk about right now, the hot topic is lead. Everyone's talking about lead in your drinking water, but there are other contaminants that we could be concerned about, um, solids, etc. So can you just share about the equipment or the services that you offer that can detect that and then also remediate it? Well, it's interesting that you said detect that because testing is a big part of this. Uh, testing is a big part of why the Trenton Water Works uh, is having issues because testing has improved dramatically over the last few years. They're testing for things now that they didn't even think about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and they're testing in, believe it or not, parts per trillion. So. You know, it used to be parts per million, parts per, you know, billion. Now it's parts per trillion. You know, that's <laughs> so minute. Mm -hmm. But again, um, I would not want to be a public utility right now because, again, they are under such scrutiny mm -hmm. and constant testing. And, again, they're, they're, they're doing what they can. Um, I have confidence in the public utilities. Um, but, again, bottom line is equipment is out there that can fix these problems if they're if the, if one of their consumers is concerned mm -hmm. so in terms of how to detect for it on a on a personal level um, we can take some quick sample tests for you right in your house um, and that's always easy but that's not going to get into the lead or anything like that if you really want to test like that we send it off to a lab um, a common lab in the area they're located here is Leco laboratories reach out to them uh, we've worked with the owner Don Lilly for my grandfather worked with him so it's been <laughs> 50 years working with Don Lilly um, and so they do a great job so that's detecting it we send we send the same results to a lab just like that we uh, just like a consumer can and then products to take care of things again if we're talking about lead um, there's drinking water systems that you could put in right underneath right underneath your sink you have a new faucet and now you have bottled wa bottled water quality water um, right at your faucet so that's an option we have whole house options that it's just a quick connection we put it in right where the water enters the house and now you have a, a carbon which my dad often refers to as the miracle worker in the in the water industry okay. you've carbon um, quickly alleviating most of your issues that's taking care of your lead um, other contaminants that we're seeing um, are PFAS and PFOAs in this area. If you're getting down towards Fort Dix and where some of the military bases are, um, that's going to be some issues that are starting to come up nowadays. And so we have solutions, little filters and big filters, all the same, um, that can take about, they take care of just about anything. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking with Sean and Tom Berry from Keltren Water Care. You can reach out to them on social media. It's K-E-L-T-R-E-N dot com. In addition to that, you can always call 609-888-0053. And sorry for interrupting you, That's Tom. Do you want us to add on to that? Oh, one correction. He mentioned the carbon, which we do a lot of work with carbon filtration. Carbon filtration would not remove lead. Lead's a whole nother issue. So again, my industry unfortunately is there's no one magical piece of equipment that can be put in to fix everything. Mm -hmm. Boy, it would be great to, to go and say, okay, here it is. A lot of um, internet-based companies will sell equipment and, you know, here it is type of thing. One size fits all. Right. And, it, and it's and not we, that, unfortunately, you know. Um, so it, it does require, whether it's a company like ours or a, a similar company, it requires somebody that knows the water how and, and different problems, different solutions is, is the bottom line. Um, when there's a lead issue, again, it's it's not carbon, but there are other things to remove lead. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, well, We've got uh, just about 90 seconds before we're up on the first break, but I do want to just ask, and we'll, after the break we'll come back and talk about it a bit more, and that is, um, you know, in densely populated communities like, like where we are here in Mercer County, um, one house may have no problems, and then the house right next door 
may have huge problems. And uh, again, that goes back to the idea that people need to individually test their own house, not rely on what their neighbor's experience has been or anyone else. Everyone should be concerned just for their own home, correct? No doubt about it. And and the thing about that is, is again, like I just said, no one size fits all. You don't know what's underneath the concrete that's leading mm. up to your house, and you don't know what's com coming in there. Um, and the pipes throughout your house could be different. One person has copper, one person has PEX, um, and all of that can change the quality your, of your water. So it really depends on an individual basis what you're going to have in your water. Great. You're listening and watching the Trenton 365 show in the studio with me right now. I have Sean and Tom Berry. Uh, the, it's the third generation of Caltrend Water Care. And they're going to be talking to us about lots of different things to uh, balance out your quality of water, number one, and touch a bit on all the hysteria that has been going on about the water quality here in the Mercer County slash Central New Jersey region. You're listening and watching the Trenton 365 show. And we'll be back after a short break. <music> The Redeemed Christian Church of God would like to invite you to their Sunday morning services at 300 North Clinton Avenue here in the city of Trenton. The first service begins at 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. The second service is from 12 noon to 2. If you cannot make it to the Trenton location, join them at 15 Keswick Avenue in Ewing, New Jersey from 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. They also have Bible study on Tuesday night from 7 p.m. to 8.30. For more information, you can call 609-865-1973, 609-865-1973, or email them at rccgsa at gmail.com. <laughs> And welcome back to the Trenton 365 Show. You can send me an email, Trenton, the numbers 365 show at gmail.com. In the studio with me, I have Sean and Tom Berry. They are a third generation family business, Keltrin Water Care. And they're doing some amazing things here um, uh, with not only educating the general population about water care and water quality, but offering services for you to mediate or remediate some issues that you may have as well. And uh, we're going to be talking about some of the basic stuff for everyone to consider. I'm not saying that everyone should run out and just support Caltran or any other water company, but it does make sense for you to think about what you're doing with the water that's coming into your house. Um, Tom so eloquently mentioned at the beginning that he has faith that the quality of water that the public utility Trenton Water Works is putting out is fine. It's of, it's of good quality. However, and, and I'm going to have them talk about this, once it leaves the filtration plant, to the point it comes to your spigot or your faucet or out of your shower head, there could be lots of different things that um, that could cause issues there. So um, just before the break, I mean, we were talking a bit about um, some of the different ways the industry, the water filtration industry is operating. And um, you made it clear that there is no one magic thing or one size that fits all that everybody can go out and do this and it's going to make everything right, all right. better again. Can um, you both elaborate on that? Sure. So again, let's let's uh, use the lead issue as as an example. Uh, there are a couple a couple ways to remove lead, and it's it's usually like physical filtration where the lead can't get past a, a particular filter, or a water softener will remove lead. We we are um, we have sold a number of systems within the you know. Uh, Trenton Water Works, where we use a combination of water softener and carbon filtration. Um, the water softener portion of it has the capability of removing lead. A water softener will remove lead and iron and calcium and manganese. So the term water softener is kind of, you know, a gray area. It, it, it does a lot more than just soften the water. Okay. So, and then we also incorporate carbon in that, in that same filtration. Um, and that covers the, you know, uh, other issues that Trenton has had with the trihalomethane, I think is how you say it, okay? Um, which is, they, they've always used chlorine, and again, I'm, I'm not a chemist, so I don't want to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, <laughs> give false information out there, but from way, the way I understand it is they use chlorination as their disinfectant. Have forever and always <laughs> will, I'm sure. But from the point where they inject the chlorine, 
to the time it gets to your house, chlorine kind of, there, there are byproducts um, that are a result of it as the chlorine breaks down. So those byproducts are these trihal trihalomethane, if I think, I, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So again, something like that is removed by the carbon filtration. Mm. So um, if you, uh, the biggest water filter company in the world is Brita. Everybody knows mm. of Brita filter, which is great. It's a, a, it's a very small amount of carbon incorporated in their filters that are just at the faucet. Do a great job. Make the water taste better, and it is removing that, that remaining chlorine in, in the water. So that's the least expensive way to, you know, do some kind of filtration at least. Mm -hmm. We go a, be a step beyond that, whether we do it at a drinking water system that you would use, you know, on a, you know, for, you know, making Kool-Aid or making coffee or whatever, on up to whole house systems that take care of it for your, you know, all the water through that you're using throughout the house, mm -hmm. bathing in it, drinking it, whatever. Washing your clothes, et cetera. Exactly. So um, for um, businesses, um, restaurants, banquet facilities, et cetera, oftentimes they're leasing that space. Um, you have the ability to set them up with equipment that will do the same mm -hmm. thing, correct? For, for businesses, recommend le uh, reaching out to that landlord. Uh, whoever they're leasing that property from, make sure that that landlord is taking care of the issue. For Make sure that they know what's in their water that they're, they're giving out because at the end of the day, it's probably in their contract, their lease, that they have to have a certain quality of water. Um, but yeah, at a certain point, those businesses have a public drinking supply. Um, and in the state of New Jersey, um, you have to be tested if you're on well water, um, and I don't probably not municipal water. You probably don't have to be probably tested. Not, yeah. um, but if you have a public drinking supply, it's your responsibility as a business to make sure that if someone comes off the street, goes into your bathroom, and pours himself a glass of water, that you're going to have clean, clear water for them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's fair to talk to your landlord or give us a call. And we can take a look and we can uh, run some tests for you guys. We can send it off to a lab and just make sure. Uh, that's At the end of the day, we're not going to try to sell anyone anything that you don't need. Uh, our job and his job is what he's always done is we want to make sure people have good, clean water. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing for us. So whether or not we can put something in your basement or in your in your faucet, um, that would be great if we could because obviously we're running a business. But if we can't and you have good, clean drinking water, that's all that matters to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for the folks um, who, um, and we were talking about this a bit um, earlier, for the folks who have, uh, they've got a neighbor or they live in a, a new development and they say, oh, my neighbor had um, a complete testing done and everything was great their water was fine I live next door I live across the street I'm not gonna waste any money in doing that what would you say to them it the water can change now you know on a public water situation probably not it's pretty general but if you're on a private well and you you're in a neighborhood you your well could be drilled at this location and then 20 feet away is your neighbor's well mm -hmm. and again logically speaking you would think it would be pretty darn similar water but it absolutely is not the case because it's not where the water is you know the well is located it's where it's being picked up down 100 feet 200 feet 300 feet down below the ground mm -hmm. and again a geologist I'm not um, but the way the water travels underground is different and again wells can be very close so bottom line if you're on a private well each, each house needs to be tested. And trust me, we get questions all the time. Hey, my neighbor doesn't have any equipment. Why do I need equipment? Yeah. Well, right I thank you also for the disclaimers that you are not a yeah. chemist <laughs> <laughs> and you're not a geologist as well. That's great. So no one might send me any emails giving these guys a hard time. They cleared that up. Um, <laughs> so, so going forward, right, um, we know that... Um, this this region, uh, there's a lot of different growth. There's uh, there's a lot of building that's that's taking place. We've got an old infrastructure, etc. And uh, um, you know, last uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had uh, Trenton Water Works on, and they were talking about the different types of piping that they know is in the city, whether it's galvanized, copper, right. PEX, and then some other things. Um, if someone's having some some uh, uh, piping or plumbing changed in their house, is there like a I don't want to say an industry standard, but from your perspective, is there one that is kind of a, a little better than the other uh, as, like as far as water quality goes? For a pipe? Yeah, for pipes. Pipe? Well, years ago they used galvanized. Mm -hmm. Almost never see it anymore. 
So it's either copper, especially if it's commercial, they're going to run copper. A lot of residential properties now use PEX, which is a, you know, a form of plastic pipe. Mm -hmm. um, used to use PVC. Um, again, you know, uh, copper is not used probably as much in a residential situation because of the cost. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot more expensive than PEX piping. Um, so, again, when you run into older properties, that's where galvanized might come in. That's where the Trenton Water folks might say, you know, hey, the, the pipe underground coming up to your house might be galvanized pipe and I think that's where the lead issues okay. come. I think they were saying some of their their connections outside of is where they're blaming the lead coming from, which is probably true. Okay. So So if, if you were to if someone were to come to you and say, Hey look, um we just bought this house, um this house has um galvanize it. We're going to be know. taking it out. Is there a particular industry standard that you think um, you would suggest homeowners to go to? Um, I'm probably not the person to give that advice. Okay. Um, that might be, I'm not a plumber. You know, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> plumber. <laughs> Another not disclaimer. A <laughs> Great, I love it. I love it. Um, so, you know, where we come in is we kind of work with what's there. Type okay. Of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one to go in and, and change that galvanized pipe. Hey, it probably would be a good idea. But again, it's 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 costly, and it's you know it, people have to make their own decisions from a health standpoint, from a monetary standpoint. So, you know, it, there's it's not like again, it's not cut and dry. Let's yeah. let's do this. You know, here's your solution. Gotcha. So, um, going forward, um, I would assume that more people are going to become more aware of public utilities, like the quality of their water, especially as people have children and become more pet parents, mm -hmm. etc. Um, do you foresee any type of movement in the industry industry yes absolutely the industry is again I you know I don't know the the industry is much more uh, larger today than it's been mm. ever in the past so it is increasing on um, unfortunately the Flint Michigan uh, uh, crisis was the impetus for all this you know where people are just more aware more concerned and not as trusting as they used to be um, back in the day um, like I started the conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So again, uh, perception has changed. Um, as I mentioned earlier, m you know, millennials have not grown up drinking the water. So yeah. now they're buying houses and it's on their mind saying, oh, you know, what type of filtration are we going to do? Great. And, and that's, that's where my, uh, myself and our industry comes into play. And, and in the world we live in nowadays with social media and everything, um, blown out of proportion is the wrong word, but everything grows in popularity, right? So um, people are more aware, people are more active in their communities, and that's causing people to become more concerned, and that's why we're here. If you're concerned, if you have any doubts about what you're putting into your body, because uh, at, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing for yeah. you, your family, your children, um, we want to help. And so give us a call, uh, help us in any way that we can, or we'll help you in any way that we can. Um, and again, if you, people are more aware, so that's why we're here to help as much as we can. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so uh, share the contact information one more time, Sean. Yeah, so again, we're, our website's keltrenwatercare.com, K-E-L-T-R-E-N.com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Keltren Water Care, and then you could give us a call at 609-888-0053. Fantastic. So um, I will. I am inviting you to come back. That's awesome. Um, I want you to come back, and I want you to talk about um, how the industry is changing, how it's evolving, um, different ways that people can find out more, and uh, different ways that people can take more control over what's going on in their and, lives and we'd love to be a part of the dialogue i know this That's is going to awesome. be this is going to be a hot topic for you for trenton waterworks we'd love we just want to be a part of the dialogue because we know that we're here to help at the end of the day all right fantastic thank you very much sean and tom barry they are from keltren water care and the website is k-e-l-t as in tango r-e-n dot com you can call them 609-888-0053 they are conveniently located
on South Olden Avenue. Uh, that's in between Cedar Lane and the 295 ramp. It's it's a very simple, very easy to get to. Those of you who are familiar with the Hamilton uh, Township Municipal, uh, uh, I don't even know what they call that yard. It's in that vicinity, right on Olden Avenue. You can't miss it. But I would encourage you to check them out. Check out their website, and I'll continue to share information about the work that they're doing and also the water that we have here in this region. Stay tuned for the Trenton 365 Show, segment number two. We'll be back after a short break. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Don't wait until it's too late. Call now and get peace of mind for you and your family. Call 800-340-1290. 800-340-1290. 800-340-1290. 800-340-1290. 
And welcome back to the Trenton 365 Show. I'm Jacques Howard. You can send me an email, trenton365show at gmail.com. You can also post your events, like the ones that we're going to be talking about in the second segment to the Trenton 365 Community Calendar page on Facebook as well. Um, so across from me is my intern and... Uh, this young man has uh, warmed my heart on many occasions. He's a, a wonderful student. He's a good person. He's a great ambassador um, for the city of Trenton. Um, he's a good son, a good brother. Um, he's been a fabulous intern here, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he progresses. Um, his name is Vont Leak. You can find him on social media. V-O-N-T-L-E-A-K um, I suggest that you check out his YouTube page Check him out on Facebook and Instagram as well um, He's going to be leaving for college in uh, about a month But his last day here is going to be uh, about two weeks from now So it's going to be exciting to see him progress and move on But he will definitely be missed um, But I do have Naisha Kelly She'll still be around and she'll be picking up some of the slack <laughs> As I look for another intern who wants to jump in And uh, work on filling the shoes of Vaughn So if you have someone who's interested, who's got a passion about uh, radio, television, community organizing, filmmaking, uh, have them reach out to me, send me an email, trenton365show at gmail.com, or call the radio station, WIMG 1300 at 609-695-1300, preferably 18 years old and older, and then we'll work on all the particulars. So, uh, Vaughn, it's great again to sit across from you. Thank you for I, having me, sir. Absolutely. Um, as, as I said in the opening, you've been uh, a big help. Um, you've been very supportive. I'm very supportive of what you do. Um, talk a bit about what it's been like um, to be an intern here at WIMG and with the Trenton 365 show. Um, it's been... Wow. You always like give me like you said like describe like what it's been, what it's been like. Um truthfully, I don't think I've had I've been blessed with um another amazing opportunity like this. You've from and I looked up the date earlier, August 7th, 2018, the day I came here for the first time and um that's not the first day you and I met, but the first time I ever came here, not just you, but you, Steve, Vini, Mac, you guys have all been nothing but f beyond supportive of me. The next week I think you had me on the show. I didn't I was like, okay. Um and becoming an intern for you and not only that, but developing the relationship I have with you and everybody else here has been nothing more than uh, nothing less than amazing. Um it's blessed me with so many opportunities. If anybody, if anybody hasn't seen, I just did um, the video for the skate jam uh, project that you work on every single week, which, um, which was a, it was great to put that together. It was great to see to go to that and see you and um, Mark and everybody that you guys are like everybody that's involved in that just come together do something good not only for the city of Trenton but for the kids in the city of Trenton to see some kids come up like me and like okay like my thing is filmmaking but to see like or if there's a skating for you guys to be able to bless them with that and those so to see you doing all these things for everybody the people that come in here every week you talk to them about water agriculture performances X Y whatever it is just being so encapsulated with everybody and so you have taught me something that I don't think anybody else has taught me to be able to listen more, to be able to engulf myself in a lot of other things. So I want to say thank you for that and all the other opportunities that you've blessed me with. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, my therapist says that um, I need to be more uh, receptive of that. Maybe how I grew up, I, I didn't learn those skills, but I am working on them. But thank you so much for those kind words. So um, let's talk about where you're going. Um, you know, I know a lot of folks um, who, especially the ones who come in who you meet on a weekly basis, they know that you're a high school student, that you go to Trenton High, that you're going to be going to college soon. Um, I want you to, again, publicly share where you're going to college and what you're going to major in. Okay, so I'm graduating from Trenton Central High School. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a, what are you, a blue devil? He's a blue yeah. devil. So fake. I got, he's I got so love fake. for the tomatoes. <laughs> I got love for the tomatoes. <laughs> um, graduating from Trenton Central High School in about a month, less than a month actually, and I'm going to, a, a week after I'm starting my um education at William Patterson University for awesome. communications and media production specifically like filmmaking and this talk show hosting and because I want I, this is what I love to do um, I have like Jacques said I have my own YouTube channel um, I've been on both sides of this table mo more than more than a handful of times so you've been able to bless me with a number of opportunities and I'm thankful for that because that'll be able to advance me in hopefully what becomes my career in the future mm, that's great now uh, why did you choose uh, William Patterson um 
For me, so sophomore year, I went on a college tour to Kane University. Kane University is in um, Union, and I know somebody that went there for communications and media production, and so from there, I was just like, all right, I'm set. Like, that's what I want to do. And then I went there again. Um, when it was time for me to actually start looking for colleges, I was like, I looked up like, okay, top uh filmmaking schools in New Jersey and it was I looked at like I looked at Kane I looked at Seton Hall I looked at Rutgers Montclair um and William Patterson so I went to four different tours I went to Kane Montclair William Patterson and what's the other one I can't remember right now um and William Patterson I it caught my attention for uh, a couple reasons one it was it was small it was not small but it was content like it wasn't too big like a Rutgers campus was like split up into all these different communities and it wasn't so it wasn't so small where like oh I leave my dorm and I'm next door like at the food court so um and then Ruck or Rutgers William Patterson if you didn't if anybody didn't know has the number one college radio station in the in the U S the nation something like that and so whenever I got there I saw that I saw how that worked and then I saw um I met their professor um and then I saw like the two big old studios they had I was so like I was like wow so it was hard for me to pick between William Patterson and Kane New Jersey but um I eventually picked and thank god i'm uh a few i'm an up-and-coming pioneer uh class of 2023 of william patterson all right, right. 2023 william yeah. patterson yeah. all right now you've been uh making videos and so forth um on social media and sharing them and uh your your styles have evolved from what i've seen yes, from, they have. from when we first started and uh i, I want you to just talk a bit about how your your aesthetic is changing from just like you know videos of of you or someone else doing something to being put together as a package like a short film mm -hmm. or a documentary um so initially when i started doing youtube videos they were just like dumb little comedy skits i did with my cousins or family members whatever and i still do that i don't do it as often but i love doing those and i think those are like what i will always be like number one to be able to do because i gained like whatever stain i have off of them i have a video i did types of people at church and that video is like seventy four thousand views on it because it's something like everybody can relate to but throughout the past couple months i've done more um I guess you could say vlog type style videos. I did a couple like what I got my girlfriend for Christmas or Valentine's Day. And then I've been doing a lot of promo commercials. I did like three um, promo commercials for my school for like the school yearbook and for like uh, we did a senior update video and it was like a news style video. Um, then I did your skate jam promo commercial where I went to um, the skate gym that you have every Saturday. I've recorded a bunch of like B-roll footage so, like of the kids, of all the adults doing skate jams, just the, some of you, of you guys talking. And then I sat down with you, Mark, um, a mom and a kid there and I talked to them I did like sit down interviews about what they like about it what they don't like why they come and I was able to um, use my knowledge with that and put that together as a little package and I I like I like it's different for me obviously because it was like the first time I've done something like that but I like it because it's informational it's something that a lot of people um like I broadcast a lot of things that people really care to see. Like, a, like I like I told you, like why are you doing the skate park? And you explained that the mom that was she explained her story from uh, how her and her kids moved from Puerto Rico, and so they didn't have any like outlet. So um, to be able to create something like that, and hopefully to do it again more in the future, um, is something I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And I also want to make sure that you give uh, some credit to uh, Joe Halsey. Yes, uh, and uh, the work that he's doing. Um, with you and also um, the the gathering that you have mm -hmm. every week and the students that meet for that. Can you share what that program is? And then also about the project that you worked on uh, with Joe at uh, PEI Kids. So um, I met Joe Halsey, who's a local filmmaker in Trenton, um, through a program that he runs every, at the time it was every Tuesday, now it's every Wednesday, called uh, Let's Film Trenton. It's held at Sam Naples every single Wednesday night from 5 to 7 p.m. And what that program uh, does, um, it takes young students between the ages of like 13 and 18, um, and Joe is an actor, a director, a producer. Um, he's done it all. He's been on The Cosby Show. He's been on Law & Order SVU. We just shot last, or like two weeks ago, with Ed Asner, if you don't know. Um, so, if you don't know who that is, he played in Elf with Will Ferrell. He was, um, he played in a, been in a bunch of stuff. So, um, 
Joe takes students and he gives he introduces them to all these editors, these uh, script writers and everything, and he gets gives us all the basics of filmmaking. And in the end of the in the end of the year, we write a script, we block it out, and we film it. And I've been lucky enough to be a part of this class for this is my second year now. And um, because I'm so engulfed in it, I I text Joe, I text all the people he brings brings in, and I go on like additional sets with them um, and do like more professional projects, which has been. Um, another advance in my career and what I want to do as far as the film industry. Um, the PEI Kids thing was last year Joe had his debut for um, Generation Change, which was a documentary he um, put together for uh, student, not students, um, teens in the city of Trenton and how they want the city to change, how they want it to evolve. And we just wrapped shoot on the next um, portion of that series called. Um, it was called Black and Blue Together. Now it's called Common Ground, where we sat down um, local teens and we sat down police officers and we shot it at Sam Naples also. And we talked about oh what teens look at the stereotypes as as for cops and why. And they asked the teens were able to ask cops why do they do this or that? Why are you like? Why does it seem like you're not protecting our city? They got to sit down and discuss common ground based off of. Um, things that they've experienced and so I want to give a big shout out to Joe for being able to just bless me with all the opportunities that he has because without him I don't think I'd be anywhere advanced in the industry of film that I'd be and at the same medium level as like at the same level as I am with radio and you that's fantastic thank yeah. you for saying that Vaughn and shout out to Joe Halsey as well um, so we've got just a couple of minutes before we go up on a break and then after the break folks we're going to be talking about a few events that are coming up that Vaughn is a part of one is a fundraiser that's taking place at Rita's Water Ice at Independence Plaza in addition to that, we're going to be talking about the Gentleman's Ball, which is an event that's going to take place this, com um, excuse me, Sunday, June 7th. Second. Second. Yes. June 2nd, this coming Sunday. We're going to talk about the meat and potatoes about that, how you can be involved in that. Um, you can support the effort of this organization, etc. You're listening and watching the Trenton 365 show. We'll be back after a short break. <laughs> Hey, what's up, family? This is Zach Williams. Elon Music Group and Dr. Alan Waller presents Zach Williams and One Accord concert and CD release. Come witness the next chapter with Zach Williams and One Accord. Friday, June 7th at 7 o'clock p.m. Doors open at 6. It all takes place at the Elon Tabernacle Baptist Church, 2800 West Sheltenham Avenue in Philadelphia. Plan now to be a part of Zach Williams' One Accord concert and CD release. Special guests will be the Elon Tabernacle Mass Choir and more. There will be giveaways. This is a free will offering service. Friday, June 7th, 7 o'clock p.m. Doors open at 6 o'clock p.m. As the Enoch Music Group and Dr. Alan E. Waller presents Zach Williams and One Accord concert and CD release. Don't miss it. And welcome back to the Trenton 365 show. You can post your events to the Trenton 365 community calendar page on Facebook. Events like the ones we're going to be talking about shortly are listed there. Um, the idea behind that is that this region is so ripe with so much happening. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's recreation, it's regarded to an environment, it's community organizing, community service, uh, events to go and see live performing arts or go to different places and trips and meetups and, and meetings and things like that so that was the idea behind putting the trenton 365 community calendar page together and that wasn't set to be the all-encompassing regional place where everybody would get their information it would just be another one another place for you to go and get some information but i encourage you to check it out and uh, if you have events make sure you post them there um it's easy just uh if you have an account with facebook just put the flyer up on there and you'll be surprised how many people actually see that information so vaunt leak um is an intern but he is a trenton high school graduate or 
senior going to be graduating within a month. Less than a month, baby. Yes, <laughs> and he'll be attending William Patterson studying uh, communications with a with a specific focus on filmmaking. Um, again, uh, he's done a fantastic job as an intern here. I'm looking forward to see what he does next. And if I were you, I would encourage you to start following him now because as he just continues to progress and gets better, uh, hones his skills better, he's just going to end up becoming a much better filmmaker. And who knows? You may end up having an Oscar a winner coming out of Trenton if it's up to me. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Vaughn, so let's talk about the gentleman's ball yes, and um, uh, how you got connected with that, and what is the gentleman's ball? So the gentleman's ball is put together by the Urban League Guild of Mercer County, um, and it pretty much um, it's it honors young gentlemen um, in throughout throughout all of Mercer County. I know I'm Trenton. There's a bunch of there's a couple Ewing people. There's a bunch of people all throughout the uh, Mercer County, and it honors them for their scholastics, for their academics, for their community service, all the things that they do. Um, and they're they're all senior senior guys in high school. So, what it is, we um, every single week we meet at the Hollowbrook Community Center in Ewing, and we perform. We practice like we practice a dance that we have to do with um, our escorts and our moms. And at the um on at the at the end of the whole the whole um time period so june well june 2nd in this case um we are going to perform the waltzes and the dances and stuff and then we get presented with um some honors some awards uh some people get um awarded with uh scholarships and it's just a great night um i know one of my friends in a band that i was in cornbread my friend kadir rashad and donovan um shout out don and dear um they were part of it and so they told me, like, all right, next year we recommended you to do it. And so I was like, all right. I had no idea what it was or anything, but I was like, okay. And then I started interning here. Lo and behold, producer Steve Cook is on the board. And he was like, wait a minute, you're in Cornbread. Oh, yeah, you're going to be in the, ball, in the ball. I was like, all right. So it's crazy how all that stuff links together. But it's been a great experience so far. I'm excited to see how everything comes together on Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for it. Now, if people want to uh, support the event, they want to make a donation, they want to buy a ticket and come out, how can they find out more about Gentleman's Ball? Um, tickets are... Ticket money is so if you know somebody or you just you do want to just come support. Um, I know we saw well this for the future reference. It's too late now. You can purchase ads if you know anybody or just interested in purchasing ads or like little patron things. So in the future, like um, you can pay for those to get in like this big old book that we get at the end or uh, for the ball. Um, and then if you want to purchase a ticket, if you want to purchase a ticket for this ball, the money is due this Thursday at seventy dollars. Um, contact an Urban League Guild member. You can call here at the station because Steve Cook is like I said is a member of the board. Um, or find me on Facebook, Vont League, V O N T L E A K. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other way. I know Urban, uh, the Gentleman's Ball is on Facebook and the Urban League Guild. I know they have websites and stuff. I don't want to say what they, I don't, because I'm not 100% sure. But if you look into it, I promise you'll be like, just look up Urban League Guild in Mercer County on, on Google and they'll pop right up. Okay. All right. Now, um, we didn't talk about this earlier, but you are an accomplished musician as well. Yes. Um, and uh, you play not only with your band and uh, socially, but you are also part of the orchestra yes. at Trenton High School. Orchestra Trenton Central High School. Band, yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's talk about that experience and what's the fundraiser that you have coming up for that. So as far as the experience goes, um, it's been beyond amazing. I went from just being in a simple music class, like general music class. Um, I mean, I played music. Just about all my life but being in a music class and see, meeting the director shout out mr joseph pucciati um and i met him and then eventually i was like i was in his class and like every like the first instrument you learn in school is like violin or like recorder and i was i don't want to play this can i play drums and he was like you're a pretty good drum you should come to orchestra practice i started coming um and i became the drummer of the trent central high school orchestra I became from second chair drummer to first chair drummer and vice president, and then I became the president my senior year. So, um, and I worked. So I work at Rita's Water Ice on Independence Plaza, South Broad Street, here in Ham. Not here, but yeah, here in Hamilton, New Jersey. Um, three years ago, I had this idea like. What if we did? I found out like my boss does like fundraisers and stuff. So I was like, what if we did like an orchestra fundraiser? I don't. I didn't had. A, I didn't have any type of um, like mindset of how I was gonna go. I didn't have any format. I was like structure. I was just like, let's do. Let's let's do like a concert. So I set it up literally. So let's say the fundraiser is the thirty first of this month. I set it up maybe like the eighteenth of May. So I and it it's crazy how it formulated all together. Three years ago. Um, me and my my old band Cornbread, we literally knew three songs for like four. <laughs> we played three songs for for the three hours between six and nine, 
We kept looping those three songs. Orchestra members was like, hey, let's play songs. It, but it's a fun night for anybody to come out. Not anybody. Orchestra alumni and current students. And then um, last year we had Roy Richardson come. And he's coming again this year to lend his expertise and musical wisdom. We love, shout out Roy, um, to come. So this year... It will be this upcoming Friday, May 31st, from 6 to 9 p.m. at Readers of Independence Plaza, 2465 South Broad Street. They're not behind, they're not next to the movie theater anymore. Right, right now we're next to, in between Subway and Sticky Wicket. So we're over there. I promise you'll see us if you just drive by um, the plaza. And this is going to be a great night. You can get some ice cream. And 20% of all purchases made between 6 and 9 go towards the orchestra. We're going to be having some raffles and prizes given away. Let's have a little more fun with the uh, customers and everybody that watches. It's going to be a fun, uh, just an amazing night. I highly suggest you come out. If you like music, ice cream, anything, bring your kids, bring your mom, just come out. What's that tagline you guys have now with Rita? Um, sun's out, tongue's out? Yeah, sun's out, tongue's out. Yeah, that's what they say at Rita's now. Yeah. All right, so um, is this a, a rain or shine event? Um, So... We've been blessed by Mother Nature for the past two years to have amazing weather. Yes, knock on wood. This year, I'm scared um, because today, right now, it's thunderstorming. It wasn't thunderstorming when we got in here, and now it's thunderstorming. Um, it's supposed to thunderstorm tomorrow, and then the weather for Friday and Saturday is going back and forth between cloudy and sunny. Right now, it's saying sunny, so I'm praying that it stays sunny, then God blesses us for one more year. Um, as far as a rain date, we're not going to discuss that. We're just going to hope it. We're just going to pray and thank Mother Nature for all the amazing things that she's doing. <laughs> and this is going to take place outside, right? Yes, right outside. on the right on the curb of Rita's next to. It was a Mariner Finance there. The sign's still there, but they're not there anymore. So between 6 and 9, yeah, we'll be there. Hmm. Okay. Now, um, I want people to understand the importance that you feel mm -hmm. of being involved in connecting the dots. So although you're a musician, although you've got this job at Rita, Rita's Water Ice in Independence Plaza, but you're also showing your um, communication, your community organizing skills by putting together an event mm -hmm. and have been putting yeah. together this event. Let's talk about the, why that's so important for you to do that. I think, well, when I, like I said, when I thought of this idea three years ago, it was nothing more than like, okay, let, hey, let's just try this and see how it works. But I think this year, because, and, and going back to meeting you and just seeing how you connect and do all this with like you texted me and Aisha the other day like all right hey I'm going to see this play at Passage Theater who wants to come or just connecting and linking with people having connections I think is the most important thing especially in an industry like this because you don't know what possibilities could come from it I have a teacher who said he got his first job but because he knew how to roll cables the right way production cables audio cables and so um, in the past, all I've done was make flyers for this event. I went a step further, um, and I made I put together a little video interview with me, an orchestra member, and Roy Richardson to explain what exactly this event was, to explain a visual thing. Because people will see, a fl I sent the flyer to somebody. The flyer says where and when it is. Somebody texted me after I sent it to him, like, where's the fundraiser? <laughs> I was like, all right. So I thought I'd put together a little something more. Um, I've been connecting. I've connected with Sarah Dash, who's a friend of the station, and the orchestra. I've connect I'm trying to connect with the mayor of Trenton. I'm connecting with all these people. If one person that comes sends it to one other person, the amount of people, the amount of fun, the amount of money we'll be able to raise off of it will be amazing. And I think um, cross marketing and stuff, that's it's important just to know people who know people. Mm -hmm. Now, or if someone was not interested in in uh, making a purchase at Rita's, are mm -hmm. they able to make a donation? Yes, we always have a tip jar out um, at the um, at the re at, at the at the table of the booth. If not, um, come to Trent High's Orchestra practices. We rehearse every single day from every single weekday from two fifteen to about three ten. Um, come check us out. And if you don't, we perform with Gustavo Dudamel, who is a famous famous conductor. Um, and we performed with him earlier in the year, so if you like, like I promise, if we're we're that good, <laughs> I I just we're, I promise it's worth checking out. I'm not just saying that because I'm in there. We're performing with Sarah Dash, performing with Gustavo Dudamel, and I'm sure uh, we got uh, our director Joseph Pucciati got nominated for uh, Grammy for Teacher of the or something something like that, Music Teacher of the Year. So um, I promise, just check us out, look us up. I promise, there's videos on YouTube, Trent High. Yeah, we're making history, so, yeah. That, that's great. Now, Bob, before we finish up, you know, I want you to talk um, directly to um, your peers and mm -hmm. those who are a little younger than you um, who may have some passion about filmmaking or radio or being musicians or, or playing an instrument, and they may be uncertain as, as far as uh, what steps to take or they may be apprehensive or not feel comfortable. What would you like to, sh to say to them? Um, literally, like I say, I think every time... 
this question comes up not just from you from anybody literally just jump into it and do it yes i i was never a person that was like nervous or scared to like do something i thought obviously i thought about it twice like this is a good idea or not but when you jump in and do something on your own it's better with obviously it's better with guidance but when you just jump in and do something on your own it's amazing the the number of outcomes and possibilities that come from it um i nobody taught me how to drum i started doing it on my own then i got i eventually got people to teach me how to drum i you never trained me to do this you i simply sat and watched i came every single week and i did it I d I've done I've been on that side of the chair a number of times and I've done full hours and I yes I've been I've been nervous like obviously doing it for the first time but it's, if you just jump in and do it it's amazing the possibility of outcomes so whether it's music filmmaking washing dogs becoming a scientist whatever it is that you want to do <laughs> cleaning carpets just jump in and do it and I promise you it, like it'll be worth it in the end all right your contact information before we sign off uh, Twitter Instagram and my YouTube channel V O N T L E A K. Please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise I have amazing things coming there. And Twitter and Instagram just to keep up with me because I have um, another couple, a couple more projects that I have coming in the works very, very soon. All right, V O N T L E. AK Vont League on all social media platforms. Well, it's been a pleasure. I still got a couple of weeks with you. Um, we're going to try to do something cool before you uh, take off. Definitely, right? sir. All right. You've been listening and watching the Trenton 365 show. You can always find us on social media platforms. Trenton, like the city, the number's 365. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. WIMG is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well, at WIMG 1300. And if you're watching, it's over WPHY, Mercer County, New Jersey, through Verizon Fires. Have a great night. Thank you.